My name is Rob Weil, and I am from J.C. Grounds Management in Danvers, Massachusetts, and I am the fleet manager for our equipment. If you're a medium to larger snow company, instead of the small toolbox that guys carry, we actually uh, have full-time mechanics on staff, and we all use uh, full-size service trucks that we have basically considered a shop on wheels. We start off back here. Uh, we have a full array of uh, hand tools in the toolbox here. We have uh, air jack some blocking in case we have to jack something up. We have welding rod, straps, hammers, grease guns. We keep a full assortment of uh, nuts and bolts and washers, all different sizes. We also have a full assortment of uh, electrical connectors uh, to fix any wires that we have. We carry a lot of assortments, uh, fuse kits, um, O-ring kits, so any type of different kit, um, basically, grease fittings. Uh, we keep all different kinds of kits in the event that you uh, have to replace something. We go back here, uh, we have an air hose on a reel, air, uh, electrical cord on a reel as well. We also have 100 gallons of diesel fuel in the middle of the front of the truck. We use to fill up the uh, skid steers and loaders during an event. Coming around here inside, we have a generator, welder, compressor, jump starter. Uh, that we use to uh, run pneumatic tools, fill uh, tires and loaders and skids and trucks, jump start a loader or a skid. Uh, we keep spare tires for our sidewalk equipment. The five gallon buckets hold all the different fluids, hydraulic oil, motor oil, uh, waste oil that you collect as you're fixing hydraulic hoses. Uh, the cardboard is a lifesaver for us. We use that as a creeper in the middle of winter. You uh, basically put that cardboard down on the snow you can lay on the machine without getting soaked. Uh, we have all kinds of spare parts known that to fail um, with all of our equipment. We keep all that stuff up in here. Moving around to this side, we have jump pack, jump starter vehicle. We carry a snow brush, clean off a machine that's been broken down for a while. We also have acetylene torches. We have to heat anything up or cut some metal. We have an assortment of uh, Hydraulic fittings for any machine that you might have. Um, any of this stuff I'm talking about, you need to have your spare parts for what your machine might qualify for. So everybody has different types of machines, but you want to have the spare couplings uh, to fit your machines. Windshield wipers, we have spare wipers. You want to have them for all types of machines that you have. Uh, it happens all the time. Wipers pop off because of the ice. So you always want to care spare wipers for a truck, a tractor, a skid steer, a sidewalk machine. We have some more fluids here. We have aerosols. We have uh, oil absorbent mats if you have a leak. We have pneumatic tools. We have battery tools. We have all different small tools up in here. Um, we have face shields to keep ourselves safe from uh, all cutting, grinding. We have an assortment of funnels, an assortment of uh, drain, tra uh, drain trays. One of the key issues that we found is an absolute lifesaver if you want to come around here. If you have a plow truck, service truck that's out in the event all the time, we've gone to a heated windshield wiper and it has absolutely been a lifesaver um, not having to clean off the wipers or the wipers pop off. This is more set up uh, as a mobile shop as opposed to the in the field on the smaller to medium sized companies. Um, if you get to this size, um, this is more what you'd like to have, a mobile shop on wheels. You just want to have the parts that you know to fail to have on the truck. You're never going to have everything, but if you have a good assortment, you can make 90% of your repairs in this field and uh, keep your clients happy and uh, clear the snow. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video has been educational and informative in your preseason repairs, and I hope everyone has a great snow season.